You know, people make like the jokes and they be like, my mama put a hair in my perm when I was little. <laughs> but for real, it's the truth. Like that's what happened to me. So I used to have hair and my mom put a perm in my hair and now we got this. Or now we had that. So anyways, um, <laughs> I used to have a bald head, but um, now I don't. So I thought I was going to do it, baby. Stick it, baby. Move it, baby. Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. If you are brand new, then welcome. If you're returning, then welcome back. Um, this video is going to be, I feel like I was just so loud just now. <laughs> hey you guys, welcome to my channel. If you are brand new, then welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back. Uh, this video is going to be about my natural hair growth journey. Um, I did not post my big chop. I did it six months ago. So this is my growth journey from six months ago to now and how much I have grown. Uh, let me tell you, I have never like, I'm pretty sure this is the most hair I've ever had on my head. Um, and I have not always had this hair. So I thought I would share my growth journey. Um, I, to me, this is good growth. Um, other people might not think so, but this is to me a really good growth. Um, I don't know what word I'm using. I'm thinking of. This is a good growth level. A good level of growth, I think, going on. Like I said, definitely to happen in six months, I think. Um, <clears throat> definitely compared to the pictures I'm going to show over here um of what i started out as six months ago so um, i'm going to share with y'all how i did it basically and my methods to letting my hair grow and what i did to it um what all i put on it and how i was styling it and all that to make it grow so uh this video is gonna be really quick because my mom's on a way to braid my hair and i don't know how to braid so uh my mom is the person that braids my hair for me um, the cornrows, I literally just took out. I just finished taking my cornrows out, um, five minutes ago. Uh, so I decided to do this video, uh, just to show you, I guess, what, what's going on with it. Um, I never, I didn't know I was gonna do this video, so I never, like, recorded, like, the big chop or, like, time in between. I just decided to do it today because I thought, like, dang, like, my hair is doing so good. The last cornrows I had in, I had in for a month and a half. Um, so yeah, and then, um, so when it comes to me styling my hair, um, whenever I would try to do my hair, so I'm not really good at doing my hair. I suck at doing hair. I don't really know how to style. The best thing I know how to do is throw on a wig and go on about my day. Like, I don't know how to braid. My twists barely stay. I can grease a scalp. I can do that. Um. I could put some heat to it, some flat irons or something, maybe a wand curler, but I don't know how to style hair. Like, that's not my thing. So basically, with that being said, I don't know how to do hair. I don't know how to style hair. I don't know how to take care of my hair. Uh, I guess how it should be properly taken care of whenever it's out and about. So I'm really big on keeping my hair in cornrows. Um, I had a bad experience right before... Spider... Um, I had a bad experience right before my big chop, which resulted in me, like, losing over half my edges on my right side. Um, and I was really bad with taking off my lace fronts. Um, and my edges and my hair was just ripping out so bad. So, with that being said, if you don't know what you're doing when it comes to them lace fronts, um, and taking them off properly or installing them properly, don't deal with them or go to the stylist and let them take it out because i used to try to take them out by myself literally using baby oil and dawn <laughs> everything you should not be using i used to literally like rip it from one side like try to put my finger under it and try to rip it up like literally ripping my edges out all the way across like and i thought it was right or i thought that was supposed to happen i don't know why but at one point my edges were as soft and as bald as a baby's bootay like that's how bald my edges was like at one point i really thought it wasn't even gonna grow back that should be like another video in itself how i got them to grow back 
even a little bit. They still, they still kind of thin now, but trust me, like, I'm proud of that because they was not like that before. So, um, yeah, so I basically kept my hair in cornrows the whole time. Um, I would always, right before I got my hair cornrowed, of course, I wash it, condition it, and I always put this on it. Um, the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner. This right here makes your hair so soft and moisturized. And obviously it's leave-in, so it's really, really good. It repairs damaged hair, um, which is something I definitely needed because my hair was just so terrible. Um, my whole six months of doing this, I did not get my ends clipped once. You can see, um... It's definitely time to get my ends clipped. I probably should have definitely got it. Like I said, I'm not really good with taking care of my hair. Um, so I don't really know too much about that. But obviously I need to get my ends clipped. It's really uneven and just, yeah. Uh, whenever I took my hair out, once again, about five, ten minutes ago, this is how much hair came out. So all my hair, and this is how much came out when I was in the process of taking out my cornrows. So, um, yeah, um, I don't think that's a lot of hair. I mean, I still got a lot of my head, so I guess it's okay. Um, so yeah, I would put this, <clears throat> put this shea butter on and then have my mom, uh, braid it down. Um, or I would go to the salon and I would have them braid it down and I'll have them put a wig on for me. But like I said, that goes back to every single time when I go to take my wig off. Um, it would always rip my edges out. So actually for the past maybe two or three months now, um, I have a bunch of wigs. And what I do is I'll just, you know, get a wig cap. They cost about 50 cents a dollar at the hair store. Go get a wig cap, tan color, put your foundation or your powder on it if you want to. If you need to change your color or you can buy it the color you need, of course. And you just put that wig cap on, throw that wig on, slay them edges and go about your day. Um, whenever you get home, you can just take it off and throw it on the cabinet or throw it in the closet or whatever. But, um, I use got to be glue, um, the yellow got to be glue. Um, and with that, um, it's really easy to take the wig on and off. It's pretty much like a temporary stay. Um, I wouldn't use the bowl hold or the ghost bond. Uh, last time I used bowl hold or ghost bond was last week when I went to a graduation pretty windy i didn't want my wig to you know come off or whatever i just wanted it to be super laid and i asked my mom's here okay so last time i used bold hole was at a graduation uh or ghost bond i think it was ghost bond i used that uh a week ago at a graduation i really don't recommend using it like i said definitely if you don't plan on using your wig for a long-term use um the yellow got to be glue is the best one to use to me. Um, it's like a temporary hold and it'll last you throughout the day. You get home, peel it off. It won't pull your edges out. It won't do nothing crazy like that. Um, nothing stuck to your head versus that bow hold or that ghost bond. Like you just got so much stuff left over. So yeah, when I used it a week ago, I actually ended up ripping out some of my edges. But as you can see, it's still some there. But... You got to see, like I said, I just took my braids out. So you can see this is actually some of the glue right here from a week ago. But that'll come out when I wash it here in a second. But, um, in the bowl hole, it wasn't a good idea because it ended up ripping out some of my edges last week. But as you can see, I still have, like, some left a little bit. Like I said, I just took my hair out 10 minutes ago. So you might see a little bit of glue that's still stuck on there. That's really hard to get off. But I'm about to wash my hair after this, so that'll be coming out. Ooh, child. You're stuck in my nail. But yeah, so um, that's basically how I did it. I kept my hair in cornrows, um, kept wearing wigs, just kept my hair moisturized all the time. Uh, the main other thing I did was <clears throat> use Wild Growth. So Wild Growth works. This white bottle, not the, I never used the one I think in the yellow bottle, so I'm not going to knock it, but I've always used this one in the, um, in the white bottle, and 
It's like super good. I normally put it on my hair once every three days or so. Um, moisturize it and just massage it in my scalp. Um, and I'll normally take my wig off at night when I go to sleep. And I'll take off my wig cap. Put this on. Uh, put my bonnet on. and put my scarf on. Go to sleep. And then, you know, reapply it the next time. Just keep massaging it. Make sure you keep your scalp moisturized. Like I said, the last braids that I just took out 10 minutes ago, 5 minutes ago. Um, I had those in for about a month, month and a half. Um, so it can be done. Like my hair, I feel like, like I said, it grew like super fast. It's super long. Um, like I said, I just don't know how to take care of it. So that's why I normally keep my hair in, um, I normally keep my hair in the box braids. So the box braids, or the cornrows, is what helped me to get to where I am now. Um, the wild growth oil and the leave-in Cantu shea butter cream. So between the cornrows... The wild growth oil, the Cantu shea butter cream. Um, just wearing wigs, staying away from the frontals, staying away from that bowl hold and um, the ghost bond. I'm not gonna actually say like staying away from the frontals because all my wigs are frontals, but I just you know like I said I use the yellow um, got to be glue so that doesn't rip my edges out and I make sure I stay away from the edges. So whenever I were to put it on. I just make sure I go around, like, you know, down here. So that I miss all my edges. Um, and that's how I do it. But, um, that's pretty much it. This is super simple, short talk. Like I said, it can be done. Um, and every time after I take my corners out, I wash them, they get redone. Um, like I said, moisturize them. So if you have any questions about the process or what I did, um, you can just comment down below and I will make sure to leave all the things that I use down in the description box below. Okay, so I just washed, well, my mom just washed my hair, and this is it at the end. I'm about to go get it braided. Just wanted y'all to see the shrinkage. Super, just, super shrinked. I really don't know why I don't wear my hair out. I don't know why I don't wear my hair out. I just, it's cute. Like, I like it. I just, I don't know. Just rather just put on a wig and go. One day I will post a video on me styling it. And maybe next time I should do a wash day and a detangle video. Washed and detangled video. So, anyways, I just wanted y'all to see what it looks like. Shrunken.